Welcome to this video on how to pack a wedding dress in a wedding dress box, brought to you by the Empty Box Company. It is very important to choose a box that is designed to store your wedding dress, that is made from special pH neutral board that does not contain acid or alkali. A normal cardboard box will contain acid that will turn your dress yellow. The box should also be very sturdy to provide sufficient protection for your dress. You want to protect your dress from light, from dust and dirt, from disaster and accident, and also from yellowing. The wedding dress boxes by the Empty Box Company will protect your dress in this way. They also come with plenty of acid-free tissue paper and a guide on how to pack your dress. I'm going to put some white gloves on before I pack the dress because your hand contains oils that could affect your dress. First of all, line the box with the acid-free tissue paper. Just a couple of layers is sufficient. Just place it around the edge like this. It's important that you've had your dress cleaned because there may be marks or stains on the dress, even if you can't see them at the moment, that will appear later on. Remove any packaging from your dress, such as plastic covers or hangers. If your dress has a train, lie it face upwards. You're going to put the train in first. This dress has quite a long lace train. So I'm going to place it into the box and then I'm going to put a layer of tissue paper over the top. And fold the sides in over the tissue and I'm going to separate each layer with more tissue. Next you need to put some layers of tissue paper into your skirt. If it's got lots of layers and petticoats, try to put some tissue paper in between the layers. This dress looks like it's got a lot of petticoat and it looks like it's going to overfill the box. But in fact, a lot of this is just air and if you press down gently, you'll find it will fit very neatly into the box. Next, you need to take the skirt and fold it inwards where it's bulky. If, see, I'm just lifting the dress up. I'm going to fold that skirt in like this. And then I've got the dress facing this way with the skirt going into the box. Now place some more tissue paper over this layer. Now for the bodice. You want to put some layers of tissue paper into the dress. If there are areas that need volume, scrunch up some tissue paper and put that in. If your dress has sleeves, this particular dress doesn't, but if it has sleeves, just take a piece of tissue paper, roll it up like that, and just slide it down the sleeve. Next, lie the bodice back over the skirt. Press down gently. Put some tissue over the top. Now, if you've got a very full dress and you find it's lying higher than the box, just press it down very gently. As you can see with this dress, it's not even filled the box now. So you can go for a fuller dress than this and it will still sit fit in the extra large size. I'm just going to fold these sides in now. Just 
pull out the lace trim and keep your guide on how to pack your dress in case you need to pack it again. Place the lid on the box. Now don't put this box in the attic. In the attic there will be changes in humidity and temperature and your box is more prone to insect damage, animal damage and even water damage. Because this is such a beautiful box, you can keep it in a spare room, have it as a romantic feature, or you can place it in the wardrobe or under a bed. Check your box from time to time. Take your dress out. Wear it again on your anniversary. It's important to take your dress and repack it every now and then so that the creases don't become too permanent. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube. And if you'd like to see any more videos by The Empty Box Company, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've been making wedding dress boxes since 1988. If you do have any queries about keeping a wedding dress or packing a wedding dress, then please leave your questions in the comments box below.